Howdy folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plaster. And today, I want to show you guys something very, very, very common and how to fix it, guys. Okay, you got a parapet roof. Parapet roofs last about 50 years. Uh, they'll last a thousand if you keep it uh, prepped, meaning you paint it every 10 years. But as a rule, these parapet roofs, they have the stucco going here and a membrane going here. The sun bakes it. We are at the southwest side here. So all the rain comes this way, all the sunshine comes this way. Depending on the area you're at, like Arizona hot, it'll bake this in about 30 to 40 years. As a rule, they last about 60. Anyway, what they have here is they have a problem. So what they did is they put a flash in here. A flashing cap will last a few hundred years, guys. But it didn't last that long because it cupped and when they cup they they hold water so they put a new roof on here and then they took the new roof membrane and went over it okay now that's a good idea guys they're pretty good here bro. but what somebody did was they kind of screwed up okay you take Henry's Henry's roof and flashing Henry is a good product I've used it a lot of times. If my roof is leaking and it's raining and I'm up there thinking, man, i got to fix this. It's raining. Henry's will stick, especially if it has the fibers in it. You put it on, trowel it down, boom, you are fixed for a certain while. So what they did is they put the Henry's here. What we're going to do is it's not really designed for here, so we're just going to pop that off. We're going to just do like so. Got and once we get this whole section off, and granted, it is not the entire roof guys okay <sighs> dust it is about 25 to 30 feet the length from here to here is about 75 feet here's what we're going to do here's what you guys should do if you encounter this now granted this right here we're going to go ahead and use a powerful caulking but what they don't see what they don't know and how are you going to know this, guys, is you see this area here. Okay. Now, they put this roof membrane over here, and they put a nail in it. They put a few nails. Well, this area right here, this is a humongous gap, and they're all the way down. Humongous gaps everywhere where you could stick your fingers in it. You either put a nail in it, and we're going to pop a couple of nails here and there. But what we're going to do is here's how you do this, guys. You scrape it all off. Then you take a wire brush and you take the wire brush gets rid of all the all the crap we need the dirt dust moss everything off and then once you have all that off what you're going to do is you're going to take a wet rag i mean you're going to take a rag any rag any filthy rag and you're going to take some denatured alcohol or some mineral spirits or some acetone you're going to take gasoline if necessary you're going to saturate that rag and then you're going to wear gloves guys because all this stuff is kind of toxic then you're going to wipe down the whole thing now that you got that clean <laughs> i've got my soldiers man this is my this is my navy my air force the marines these guys right here this is what we're going to use later on in this video i'm going to show you how strong this stuff is but what, what i'm going to do guys is after we clean all this stuff up i'm just gonna rather than me caulk hang over the edge where my head is right here and look up i'm gonna caulk this right in my glove and then i'm gonna push it in and pull it up into here now here's the thing guys you'll say man kirk that's gonna look like crap what's this look like this has been on here for years if they don't mind this look and i told them well when i'm done it's going to be this color white and right here you have a kind of a greenish beige i said when i'm done just get up here and just roll this out it'll take you about half hour just to roll it out with some primer and you'll be done so it doesn't have this eyesore of a look but more importantly guys what we're trying to do is stop a leak we got to stop the rain from on a stormy day with the wind from going up in here landing on this cupped flashing and going into it I've actually done videos where we show the flashing it's cupped that just means it's been on there and they used a crappy caulking we're using the best stuff 
keep watching. You'll see how good this stuff really is. Anyway, we're going to get started. We're going to knock all this stuff off. And the next time you see us, I'll probably have had all this scraped off, cleaned with uh, the denatured alcohol or one of those products. And then I'm just going to be popping the uh, or using this caulking in my gloved hand and wiping it in here because with this particular finish, it doesn't show, guys. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, if you're going to do this, let me throw you some tips, some bones. This stuff here is nasty stuff. You don't want to get it on you. You get it on you, it's not coming off unless you use denatured alcohol or something like that. I'm going to show you something, too. Uh, I mean, I use denatured alcohol to clean all this. And I got about 10 rags like this because even though this stuff, this caulking, this Sikaflex 1A... It's, it's an adhesive sealant is probably one of the strongest caulkings ever made nothing nothing will adhere to a dusty dirty grimy mossy surface nothing so you got to clean it so we went through about eight rags and uh, about a quart of denatured alcohol I'll show you what we're gonna do too and I'm gonna point out a bunch of goofy little things just in case see these nails these are roofing nails now they put about 50 of these roofing nails in here. This is a brand new torch down. The torch down comes over and then where it didn't stick right here, they used a lot of nails. We used a bunch of nails. Our nails have little threads so that they don't wiggle out. But even if we didn't use the nails with threads, it's not coming out because this is going to hold everything. I'll tell you, uh, I'll show you how we do this, guys. And <laughs> Jay and my brother Lou, they just got to through doing one it was seven stories high and Jay had to bend down about this far he had to ask me dad you want to help me I said uh-uh no 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 that's way too high for me I was looking down and I was scared we went to the trap door and Lou walked up and said I'm not working up here so all Lou's job was to stand down and look ugly and scary and mean and stop people from getting underneath because Jay was chipping it all off and it was falling all over the place. That was Lou's job. He was like loving it. He was just at the bottom telling people, hey, watch out, man. Watch out. There's stuff dropping. And Jay had the fun of uh, working way up there, bending way down, but he's a professional rock climber. I'm not a professional rock climber. I'm just a stucco dude. And I'm no spring chicken. So I said, dude, I am not hanging over seven stories. This here, I'll show you how we're going to do this, guys. So far, I've used, I've gone about 30 feet that way and about 30 feet that way. I'll show you how to do this, guys, and where these gloves come in real handy because, first of all, you don't want to get any of that denatured alcohol or whatever you guys are going to use. You could use gasoline and you could use whatever you want. But anyhow, here's how you do this, guys. Now, what I'm doing is we removed all of their that Henry's they had here. They had Henry's, they had silicone. What's silicone really used for, guys? It's used for aquariums. Glass is really not used for this kind of stuff. And so, since I got it there, now I'm going underneath where this uh, torch down is. Why? Because I'm going to help that torch down stay down. And again, uh, any of you contractors who've used this, <laughs> when I call it nasty stuff, it is nasty because it is not water soluble. You can't clean this stuff up with water, guys. No, 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 no. Uh, there's some caulking you can clean up with water, but it'll last about a tenth as long as this. This will outlast me. I'll be worm food before this stuff goes bad. This stuff, it definitely lasts forever. At the end of this video, you'll see a wall I did 25 years ago to my neighbors where his bricks fell apart, where a forklift hit it, and I used this stuff because he was, he was calling me. He said, hey, Kirk, can you fix, regrout this? I said, man, I'll be there all day, dude. Uh, how about I grab two tubes of Sikaflex and I'll fix it? And I did, and it worked, and it's still the same. 25 years later. All right, guys, how strong is this stuff here? This is Sikaflex 
A. It's a polyurethane. It's a construction adhesive sealant. This is what we're using, guys. 25 years ago, the dude who owned this house, my good buddy Ted, uh, his forklift hit this, and it just destroyed this wall. And he said, Kurt, can you grout all this back? And I thought, damn, yes, I can, but do I want to? That's the question. No, I don't. I put all this bricks to back together. There was just like uh, 15. The whole thing fell apart. In fact, you could still see it's missing grout right here. You can see it's missing grout right here. What you can't hardly see is see that white stuff in there? That's this stuff here. I put like 10 chunks back together. And that was 25 years ago. I've been here for like 35. Kids were walking on this forever. That's how strong this stuff is, guys. I'm going to finish what I started here. And guys, if you're going to do this, do not get this stuff on your hands. Don't get it anywhere. I mean, I've got a glove I'm, I'm using. But when I use that glove, I'm not trying to get this anywhere else other than on that glove and you could use a trowel to uh, push this in here but I got a better way I'm gonna show you that better way it works way better okay so I'm done with this tube right here and for the sake of continuing to move I'm just gonna have this other tube and any of you guys who've used Sikaflex know that Right now it's about 90 degrees, it's hot. So because it's so hot, we, we, we make the hole as big as possible in here. If it was cold, this wouldn't be coming out. I'd be using all my strength. And I'm pretty strong in my wrists, but I still probably wouldn't be able to get this stuff moving. So it's a hot day, which is good. Keeps this stuff free flowing. So again, what we're doing is we're filling the gap here where the flashing meets and we're filling this torch down where it didn't get sound or down very well and two guys you rather use more than enough than not enough and i'll also say guys any products that i've used in the past that are good we'll show you what they are recommend them any products that suck that are garbage we wouldn't be showing them because showing products that suck or that are garbage is foolish. It'd make me look like a fool. And the last thing I want to do is show bad products and say, oh, this is this. It sucks. Don't buy it because that's like gossip. Now, you all know if somebody's gossiping and you're listening, the next person they're talking about is you to somebody else. So we don't do those bad habits as far as show products that don't work all right now here's what i do guys you guys could do it any which way you want jay was using a trowel he was pulling it up with a trowel i'll just use my glove i've already done about five seven tubes with this so i'll use my glove and come upward and remember this is going to get painted anyway so i'm pulling it upward i can with the feel of my glove i got more control i can push it in there without even looking guys I know what I'm doing here I've done this about 30 times and so what we want to do is we want to get it underneath here and this this caulking alone will adhere it'll anchor this better than nails guys and again at the end of this uh, little tutorial you'll see what I'm talking about because I put together a brick wall that was 25 years ago. That brick wall still is intact. And if any caulking is strong enough to adhere porous materials, that's strong stuff, guys. Porous materials are bricks, tile, uh, stone, and that stuff that is difficult as heck to actually adhere to anything. So this, this stuff is good. And no, I'm not one of their spokesmen. <laughs> I just happen to... We've been using this stuff for well over 40 years at Westside Building Supply. They are a plastering company. If you Google Westside Building Materials, that's where you get all your... That's where we get all our materials. Not, not Home Depot or Lowe's, but they do have a lot of stuff at Home Depot or Lowe's. 
we go to the professional yards where they kind of cater to a, a higher standard, meaning if something doesn't work, then we're getting our butt back and fixing it for free. So we don't want to do that. Anyway, this you see how this is working here. I'm taking my glove and I'm pulling upward. I want to fill this membrane. Uh, this is a torch down. I want to fill the torch down. And I also want to fill that gap that's in the stucco. So you see how it's done, guys. It's not rocket science, but it is learned. You got to know how to do this, what materials to use. And if you're scared of heights, guys, put a harness on. I mean, I'm only up a story. Does this bother me? No, do, 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 do. <laughs> Did Jay's last job bother me? I said, man, I am not about to hang 20 feet or what was it like 70 feet in the air. It was, it was too tall for me. And plus you had to hang down about a foot and a half anyway guys you see how that works how long will this last again i will be worm food i'll be long gone dead before this actually goes bad anyhow guys my name is kirk there's jason on the camera he does this stuff you got anything higher than two or three stories you better call him because that stuff is kind of scary for me we thank you guys for watching and as usual we'll see you guys on the next one all right, folks, as always, thank you for watching another Giordano Stucco video. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe so we can keep making them. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you on the, the next, next one. one.